Hey folks, Engineer775 here wanting to share with you today a really cool product. I was so excited when I went to SPI uh, last year in Utah and I met uh, the folks from Pursuit Solar and they had this cool tractor. It was the last thing I got to look at for the day and I just, they had to kick me out of the place as I went over it and looked at it. I was really excited. You know, I've done videos on trackers where I haven't been too excited about it because of the cost. Now, trackers are still obviously more expensive than a fixed pole mount or ground mount. But this one really caught my eye as a mechanical engineer because there was no motors, no controllers, no PLCs, no anything to make this thing track. So it really caught my attention. And so let me tell you a little bit about it. It uses an industrial wax and a piston and a parabolic dish and combination with um, a mechanism so basically as the sun is picked up in the parabolic dish and you can see that up here where there's a collector that hits like it looks like an evacuated tube almost and it collects on that tube which heats the wax which moves a piston now this is a demo unit so this you're like what is going on why are you doing with one panel this thing is strong enough to actually track 18 full 72 cell panels so this is just a demo model showing how much work it can actually do. So the actual tractor doesn't look like this. This is just showing the force. You see, if I move this, you'll see the weight. This is uh, basically uh, 2,000 pounds of blocks. It picks those blocks up um, about four inches, which allows this mechanism to go through its full range of motion. So it's kind of in the morning here. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And this will rotate all the way over to the west, uh, southwest side in the afternoon. And so it's already started tracking because we got a pretty good sunny day and it, it'll just track through the full range. So the, the estimates are that it'll increase your solar production by about 20%. So there's always this trade-off. There's the cool factor, which this really caught my eye, but there's also the increased production. But in, so there's, there's, I'm always in this conundrum of cost per watt versus cool factor and this cool technology. But again, no power required to do it. The only thing that, you know, it's, it's a demo unit. I've been watching it now for two months, looking at it every day. I come home and I see where it's positioned. So sometimes what we have here is sometimes if it's in the early morning, there's no, no um, sunshine and it's rainy day or a very cloudy day, it won't start to track. And if it doesn't start to track, it can't catch up because of where the sun is in relationship to the parabolic collector. So that's the only negative part of it. So sorry about that pursuit. This is something that, for me, when I come home, I want to see my tracker tracking over with the sun, and this doesn't do it for, you know, I would say five days out of the month from what I've been observing. The concept is still amazing. Maybe there could be some tweaking of the collector to allow it to capture more and not skip a beat. But super strong. I just love the concept. It's all mechanical. It can't fail. I've been watching this pallet of blocks go up and down for, a, for two months and so it's pretty cool so the concept is called heliotropism basically using um, uh, this concept like of a sunflower a sunflower will in the morning it'll be reset to where the sun's going to come up and then it'll kind of the sunflower will track that sun all day long and then reset and that's what this does it tracks the sun all day long and then resets you can the standard model will hold 12 72 cell panels they do have an 18 panel version but for production, the I think the 12 panel is where they're heading for the most part. So this is just a demo. This panel is not hooked up to anything. It's just to show you that it does track. It's extremely powerful piston, very reliable. So if you look back here, this is the the mechanism isn't the same. So the, the demo unit is just running a piston as the as it rotates. This piston moves and it lifts this cable up, lifting 2,000 pounds of material just to show you how strong it was. So it does track very well when their sun is, is on it. So, um, so this is, uh, it's, it's interesting this year, for some reason, I'm getting a lot of requests about trackers and why don't you do trackers, Scott? Why don't you do trackers? And a lot of times the cost of solar is so high and we have kept pursuing at the same time, cheaper fixed ground mounts. So it's this, do you have the space? If you don't have the space, the tracker becomes very attractive. If you have the space, then you can add more panels to a cheaper ground mount and compensate for what this would actually produce. 
So it's just math. You can figure out if this makes 20% more power, you can add 20% more panels. And on average, your fixed ground mount is going to equate to what a tracker is. If you don't have the room, tracker is a great option. If you're into cool factors, which is really what caught my eye at SPI, is this is, is pretty awesome. So check out Pursuit Solar. Um, Eddie Bug is the uh, owner there. You can talk to Eddie about the tracker. He knows everything about it. He will walk you through an installation, how to set it up. And there's a little bit of setup education on it. He's, they'll, they'll walk you through. Some of them he'll come out and actually help you install it. So uh, that's about it on this. So um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about trackers because I'm actually about to debut another tracker. I know there's several trackers on the market and there's some that have gone out of business because the tracker market was big when there was small when panels were so expensive and then it kind of phased away with panel prices going way down and for some reason trackers have come back and there's several companies in about uh, two months I'm gonna talk to you about another horizontal shaft uh, tracker it is timed and it won't have a parabolic dish it's totally different more of a traditional style tracker but less expensive so Anyway, we'll be talking to you about that. If you've got any questions about tracking, let me know. This is Engineer775, signing out. Oh, and what do you think of my new cool shirt? I got a new cool shirt today, so I'm like official. I got my first uh, branded t-shirt. So anyway, we'll see you later, folks. Bye.